People these days only want their cartoons and, uh, you know, fancy widescreen, uh, you know, uh, PhD. <laughs> Yeah? I don't think we're in the 90s anymore. <laughs> wow. After like 40 frickin' years of delays and wondering where this special went, Rocco's Modern Life is back in a new 2019 special on Netflix. This is Static Kling, a 40-minute special taking place after the series finale. We join Rocco and his two moronic friends landing on Earth, 20 years into the future where they see our modern times. This is a dystopian future where too big to fail corporations have gone out of business and my favorite show has ended. I complain, but no one listens. Rocco and his friends have to save the economy by reviving his favorite show, The Big Heads, while goofing on modern day issues. Sure, they joke on Starbucks and dark DC movies. It's dated and overdone by this point, but those jokes last literal seconds. The rest still works. I don't think people begging networks for their shows to return will go away anytime soon. I just wanted my show back! We all do, you ain't special. The big message from the episode is accepting changes that come over time, and it's jab at fandoms that want their cartoons to stay the same. A good message because I constantly remind everyone some of the best adaptations have been bastardizations of the source material. While Rocco is mostly accepting of changes, Static Kling is possibly one of the most accurate, not all that different, revivals ever since the 2011 Beavis and Butthead. Hardly anything has changed since the 90s, same humor, voices, art style, and weird supernatural characters that pop up randomly. There's plenty of cameos from past episodes that thankfully exist to populate the backgrounds. I think someone who's never seen Rocco could still enjoy this. But for anything, watch the episodes I Have No Son, Wacky Deli, and Future Schlock to get some context. It's not needed, but it would help. As with the old show, there's some gross out humor, but not all that much. Static Kling has the right amount of booger jokes. That's something you can put on the poster. As a TV special, it does not feel like a monumental TV movie, nor does it try to be. It's just a really good extended episode, and I think that's what works about it. It's sort of like Toy Story 4, except I didn't have to buy a ticket. The only thing that didn't work for me was Rocco's anger at the end. It was a little too abrupt and, again, kind of weird, since this special isn't so different from before, though one major change involves Ralph Bighead. Back in the 90s series, Ralph was an aspiring cartoonist rejected by his father, but after 20 years, things changed. I'm not Ralph anymore. I'm Rachel. Wow, cool! That is awesome! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Yeah, Ralph Bighead is now Rachel Bighead, even though her father does not approve, which becomes a conflict. I know not everyone would like that, but I don't know what you all expected. It's a show called Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life. It's a special where they travel to our modern life and deal with modern subject matter. It'd be more surprising if they didn't cover this stuff, and you know what? I think this is the perfect show to do this. A recurring theme of Rocco was this disconnect between generations. Many of the antagonists of the show were parents, whether it due to their offspring's career path or marriage with someone not approved by the family. Rachel Bighead was always a shameless self-insert of the cast and crew while being voiced by creator Joe Murray. This was a character used to project their issues and hopes viewers will be able to relate to. It's exactly the type of stuff that Rocco was about, so much so that I can recycle this clip from my other Rocco retrospective. There's so many episodes that are actually from things that happened to me in my own life, yeah. or the writers. Like, you know, I have no son, we had well, a lot of writers who had problems with their fathers, the, the place they were going to go to in their life, and they didn't agree with it, and, yeah. you know, there was, there was, you know, it's just, it's real life. It's artists, it's, yeah. It's stuff happening, so <laughs> it was very easy for us to write, and, and, uh, and a lot of people seem to connect with it. So what took this special so long to get released? Static Kling's trailer popped up in 2017, and then it just 
kind of, I don't know, had hardly any updates until two years later when Netflix announced they'll release it in 2019. Same goes for the Invader Zim special. Why? Well, I laid the blame on the Hey Arnold Jungle Movie revival that actually aired on TV. I love that movie, though, unless you were a hardcore fan and followed the plot lines to a show from two decades prior, it was not a good movie for newcomers. Supposedly, it got a low view count for a lot of plausible reasons. Kids who actually watch Nickelodeon don't know who Arnold is, getting access to the episodes and knowing where that storyline starts is kind of difficult, and many people have given up on cable boxes. The Rocco special landing on Netflix is perfect for the target audience who remembers that show. It probably took so long due to legal paperwork and contract stuff that's far too complicated for my brain thing. Stuff like that takes time, but now it's here, continuing where they left off at. Better late than the N-word. Are you kidding? 900 bazillion bottles of root beer on the wall! One bottle of root beer on the wall, one bottle of root beer, take one down, pass it around, zero bottles of root beer on the wall! Rocco's modern life static cling stays true to Rocco, while being self-contained enough for new fans. It's not anything too monumental, but feels like a really good extended episode. Should there be more Rocco episodes after this? I don't know, why not? The show relies on what's current. Having more episodes after so long gives it more material. That or just play the old show on Netflix, make it easier for everyone. Or maybe it's on Verve or some other streaming service. Just put, I don't know. I, I, I just, we gotta wait for freaking streaming service to get their stuff together. It's a mess. I don't know what's on anything anymore. I hate it. I don't know. Goodbye. Bye. I don't, I don't care. That was a hoot! Attention all Nicktoon fans! Attention all Nicktoon fans! Nickelodeon's bringing you two and a half hours of Nicktoons every Saturday morning! And that's not all! Nickelodeon's also bringing you two and a half hours of Nicktoons every Sunday morning! What a Davy Crockett sweat-stained buckskins is going on! It's double Nicktoon weekends! Duh! Every Saturday and Sunday morning you'll get Rugrats, The Angry Beavers, Hey Arnold, Ah! Real Monsters, and Rocco's Modern Life! Now it all makes sense! Watch double Nicktoon weekends tomorrow at 10, 9 central, only on Nickelodeon! Hey, what? What's that? It's toaster strudel. How'd it get there?